Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. We've got a cash in, a thousand pounds worth of two pound coins. They're being cashed in at the post office. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Can't wait to uh, can't wait to get dug into it. We'll just do one big video. Um, hopefully I'll find the one coin I need for the book, but I'm just really optimistic. There's loads of rare and valuable coins in here. Um, the story is this. So the um, Liz, people might know my number one post office lady, Liz, normally rings me from the post office when she gets some coins in. Anyway, her colleague texts me to say, listen, guy's just been in. He's paid £1,000 worth of £2 coins in. I remember him from about 18 months ago. He did exactly the same thing again um, because she remembered that he cashes in his coins like this, the, the way that the wrap look. They're all bagged and all nice and nice and neat. And she said, he's definitely not a coin collector. He just collects until he gets a thousand pounds and he comes and, and pays it in. So yeah, de without a doubt, there's I can see loads of shiny coins in here. Um, we, we, we're, we're, we're good. Interesting, um, one of the bags was uh, is, is this. Uh, plaggy bags so he must have run out of it must have run out of coin bags but can't wait to get in uh coin album wise only need commonwealth games wales uh this is the obviously my coin album trying to find every coin that uh every 50p and two pound coin that you can get in circulation and it's the two pounds today and hopefully wales will come but if not i'm just expecting to see commemoratives are plenty uh, right to the point where I've pulled our two pound mat out. Two pound mat out. So excited! Um, and you'll see it underneath here. So right, let's make some. Let's make some space. Let's get these forty nine really nicely neat and packaged coins to one side, so you can see the magnificence of the of the two pound, uh, the official two pound coin mat. So much, so much to do. Ooh. Hang on, maybe there, that's dropped off. Do I save that flaggy bag one till later? Till the end? Do I get it out of the way early? I don't know. Anyway, so here is... Oh, I've fallen off the map. Right, here is the uh, is the coin mat. So this is every £2 coin that you can find in circulation. A couple are hidden up here. Sorry about that with my mush in the way, but hopefully my mush is worth it. Um, gold finds, silver finds, bronze finds, the uh, the non medal positions. So basically, it's in order of mintage. So the rarest one at the top, with the exception of Northern Ireland, which is the rarest. That's right next to the, to the Bungle logo. But I like gold, silver, bronze in a nice nice lines so everything's on there the mintage figures are on there the uh, edge inscriptions are on here let's uh, let's make a start with these wonderful wonderfully packaged two pound coins i'm having to zoom out a little bit because it's a rare and normally this camera angle's a little bit a uh, little bit closer in but i've had to zoom right out because i wanted to get the coin mat in and also my uh obviously my mush is in this one so Let's, hopefully the camera will play a ball. Right, there's our first one, Active Union. Now this one is not uh, worth any more than the two pound that's printed on it, unless it's uh, rotated, because we have come across a, one or two of them, especially dear from North East Coins, but it isn't. But that, uh, that's the, the normal standard ones. It's got United in the Kingdom around the outside, but that is just a Billy basic, I'm afraid. No uh, no added value to, uh, to that one. If I come across any shiny ones, I'm gonna spin them, because that's just the, the standard technologies. That went out of commission in 2015 and we do know that they can be rotated as well when we spin them over the queen might be facing a slightly different way so i'm going to check them if they're shiny but yeah lovely uh some lovely condition coins in this in this cash in and i can't wait i'm hoping i'm that optimistic i think i'm going to find all of that row all of that row and pretty much all of the top two rows as well that's how that's how confident i am in it in, a, in just a thousand pound. That is Isabad Kingdom Brunel. Just under eight million of him were minted. He's, a, he's an engineer. Designed a whole range of things and was obviously commemorative on a commemorated on a uh, on a coin. And that is uh, that is portrait. There's another shirt. Oh look at that. 2012. So this 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 is a relatively low minted year. 2012 in terms of tech uh, technologies. And uh, that is in superb condition. We've got somebody's collections. I've got no doubt. I'm going to keep that. Do I try and keep a? Do I try and keep a date run as well? Hmm. See how many nice condition coins you can get. You know, I might do that. I might do that. So there's a uh, twelve and thirty. Where should I put that? You might not. Uh, 
So we'll start at 97, 98, 99, 2000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2005, and then another 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Right, so I'm going to 97, 98, 99, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Right, so I'm going to put that. I'm going to put that up here. Oh, you can't even see it. That was it. <laughs> well, never mind. That was a... Oh, that was a waste of time, wasn't it? I'm just... Oh, hang on. I might put them down here. Yeah, any nice date run coins I'll put in there. Any nice ones I'm going to put in them. In them. Sorted. Let me get a 2015 back out of the... The doof and dangler. Back out of the, the tub of plenty. Both in nice condition. I'll go, I'll go with that one. Oh, Northern Ireland. Oh, hopefully that's a precursor to get Northern Ireland. Sorry. Right. So any nice shiny ones for the date run? I'll stick uh, I'll stick down there. Oh, there's a beauty. Beauty, beauty. Not this one. I'll show you this one. There's 2011. So that's one for the contender for the uh, for the date run. That's a Shakespeare Histories. There's quite a lot of them in circulation. Especially around these parts. One of the three... That are uh, part of the hit Shakespeare set. So it'll be the hollow crown. It's a high minted, so it'll be towards the bottom. There it is. Now this, this is a absolute plum of a find. We have pulled out a plum. Olympic centenary. The fourth Olympiad around the outside. Celebrating the Olympic Games in London in 1908. Is he going to focus? Come on, baby. Come on, this is definitely worth a focus. It's not, is it? I'm going to have to stay there. That's going to have to be it. It's in nice condition. Shame about a little bit, a bit of blob there, a little bit of splodge, a little bit of muck. Mm. Just made it a bit worse, but never mind. Right, so top of the, top of the pops, top, top find. Um, the fourth Olympiad that goes up here. So we've already got a top row find. That one has got to be worth at least a fiver, I think. Under a million mintage, 910,000 minted. And it's in such nice condition that uh, it's worth at least a fiver, possibly even more. There's a 2014. I'll put that... Uh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm in a mess, I with the date runs. That can go there. I'll have to at least put them in order. I'll be bungle. 11, 12... 13, 14, and 15. Put that there. Ah, there we go. There's another one. Trinity House. This is a silver find for me. It goes uh, It goes just behind my... Just round about the, the DeLorean. <laughs> As in, where the DeLorean is on my T-shirt. Look there. 3.7 million minted. It is a keeper for some people. Not for me. Probably worth about maybe £3 if you're lucky. But I don't keep them. I'm going to wear... Uh, it gets a bit too expensive if you keep everything. That's a nice 2008 as well, technologies. I'll stick that down there. Let's see what kind of date run we get. So loads of commemoratives here. We've got this one. This one's really common. The act of the abolition of the slave trade. That'll be down there here somewhere. Do, 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 do. Am I not a man or a brother? Isn't it on the outside yet? Around the rim. There we go. 8.44 million. We've got me and laughter on a coin. Darwin and the evolution of the species, or the origin of the species, I should say. Uh, and that goes here, 3.9 million. So there's another one ticked off the, the list. And this is Marconi. You might not know, but he played the Mambo. And listen to the radio. 2001. This will be another brown, brown, another bronze find. Going in the bronze find. Section 4.558 million. 4 million, 558,000 of them in and a cracking start. Look at this one as well. There's another 2014 in absolutely glorious, glorious condition. So it's it's better than that one. I can see that it's shinier than that one. So we'll do that. Making this up on the fly, and I decided what coins to keep and not, and date running things. We've probably got enough to talk about. I have enough coins to see them complicating it with a date run of technologies, but. Who cares? We're in it for the long haul, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Ah, lady, I'm going to be pleased with this. Not in very nice condition, but it is the Florence Nightingale coin, celebrating 150 years of nursing. 
she will be in and around uh, this uh, this section here. 6.175 million, so it's not a bronze find, very common, even though it is in super nice condition. 2009, is it better than that one? Yes, it is, that one. That one can go. We've got the Golden Guinea. Just talking to uh, my CoinTuber friends, or some of my CoinTuber friends about this, uh, not this coin, but that, that shield of arms that's on there. I think it's the Royal Standard or whatever. I'm not really sure, but that uh, on there it's got, there's two flags for England, there's one for Scotland and there's one for for, for, for Ireland and Northern Ireland, but the, the Wales isn't represented on there. And the at the time of filming, the uh, the guinea is a splendid thing, by the way. Uh, at the time of filming, the, the Royal Mint just announced yesterday that the memorial coin for Queen Elizabeth is is set is is going to be released uh, shortly, and it's going to include the the fifty p and the five pound with Charles the uh, Charles the third on it. And on net, oh, my corny plays the mambo, listens to the radio, two out of the three Olympics. If we don't find anything else, it's already a stonker. That is Beijing, the Beijing handover. So it was handed over from Beijing to uh, to the UK when the Olympics came in 2012. So I call upon the youth of the world, 918,000. That's all that we're minted. You can't see it. It's behind me. It's behind me head. But that is a top. Uh, I, will, I will show you the full. If we do fill that. Oh! Oh, hey, 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 if we do fill the mat, if we do fill the mat up, then uh, don't worry, you will get to see the mat in all its glory, and we've got a chance, this is a Commonwealth Games, it is Scotland, as rare as hen's teeth, hardly ever see Commonwealth coins, if I was going to find any, this is the most common, this is the one that, uh, that, that we find the most, maybe he's in three and a half years of the channel, found five or six, seven, maybe, um, and the mintage is 700,000, 771,750. Yeah, look, there's the Scottish flag. Uh, but yeah, that is, a, that is a beauty. That is a beauty. We are on. We are on. We're, we're on for, for, to fill the mat. I can feel it in my water. Ah, there's another act of union. I can't remember what I was saying. Oh, there's another Charles Darwin. That's in nicer condition than the first one. You can go there. What was that? What was I saying? Can someone, can someone remind me what I was saying? DNA double helix, deoxyribonucleic acid is around the outside of that edge inscription. And another one for the another one for the matte bronze fine there, 4.2 million. Do you know I can't uh, I can't even think what I was saying. That's uh, that little flurry and that Commonwealth coin scenario has uh, completely <laughs> completely thrown me. I haven't got a clue. So we'll press on and see whether it's uh, See whether it, uh, it comes back to me, and if I don't remember, if I if I don't come back to it at all, put something in the comments to uh, to remind me what it was. And was it interesting? Because I think it's always important <laughs> to say something that's slightly slightly interesting. That's just a two thousand and ten technologies. Keep an eye out for them in case you've got the in case the double stamped. So the it's the lettering or looks like it's it's double stamped. They can be worth a few quid, and it's a nice condition. So I'm going to keep uh, I'm going to keep hold of this one. Uh, we'll stick. I'll just stick it at the edge. Oops, stick it at the edge of the, the mat. I dropped a bag. Forgive me. Oh, in fact, there's two bags down here. Hang on. Oh, one must have already fallen. Oh, <sighs> so nicely packaged as well. So nicely packaged. Oh, look at that 2009. That is that is shiny. That is shiny as well. gleaming lovely is it better than that 2009 probably probably although the the coloring is a little inconsistent between the two I'll, I'll keep them both so i can have a have a little look oh there's another shiny one another 2014 i've actually found a 2014 with a rotation error when you spin it and the the queen isn't quite quite straight so, have you got a 14? Yes, we have, but I'll stick it on there because that's that'll be worthy of some further inspection, I think, at a, a later date to see if, to see what, uh, to see what's what. It's really bugging me that I can't remember what uh, what I was talking about. See, so, anyhow. 
so yes so kind of uh, Susie to to let me know and uh, yeah she even said to the to the gentleman that uh, that cashed these in do, do you do you check them you know do you, do you check and he's like no nah, I don't I just collect them and when I get to a thousand pound I bring them back so sure. that is what the what they call in the trade a bobby bonus so how many have we got so far? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We've got 13 different ones. So we're not, uh, we're not quite halfway. Amazingly, I haven't got a, uh, a magnanimity coin, the whatchamacallit one. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's good. So basically, if I mention a coin, it turns up. So we haven't got this one, the St. Paul's, uh, the VE Day, celebrate the end of the Second World War. That's the most common commemorative in circulation. 10.19, uh, so 10 million 191 thousand in circulation. So no two pound hunt is complete without the same polls. That's quite a nice 2008. Have we got a 2008 in there? Yeah, yeah, is it better than that? No, it's good to get dirty. Oh, I've remembered. I remember what I was going to say. I was on about the 2012, wasn't I? I was on about the 2012 and how it's a relatively low mintage for technology coins. It's a lower mintage than a lot of, it's around about 4 million, I think, off the top of my head. It's a lower mintage compared to a, to a lot of commemorative coins, but um, not uh, not desirable, because it is just a, it is just a, just a dated coin, just a bog standard technology, so it doesn't float many people's boat. But yeah, the, that and 2005 are the, are the lowest mintage of the, of the technology coins. It's a quite nice condition, 2004. Keep that one. See what the day one's like, um, and the other, other only other one that's desirable in terms of, oh that's nice in terms of technologies. I think this is nineteen ninety nine because the nineteen ninety nine was not in the annual set that put the uh, the rugby world cup in. So if you've got a nineteen ninety nine two pound te te technology, this is a nice condition. That could be worth a few quid, maybe it's five, six, maybe it's even up to a ten if it's in really nice condition. To some collectors who want a, a date run of every single. Uh, every single coin. Oh, imagine that was if that was double, that was double stamped. That that double stamp around the, the right around the outside. That'd be worth a fortune now. Because it's in such nice condition, nicer than that one anyway. So I'll stick that there. And two thousand and ten, and go back into the pot. There's a lovely look. At what, I wonder why. If if it has been, uh, I think it was eighteen months. I think she said. Have I got a nice 2011? Hmm. I'm sure she said it was 18 months or about 18 months ago since he last cashed them in. And if that was the case, I can understand having lots of 2015s because the 2015s, although minted seven years ago now, haven't uh, been out of the long store that long, I don't think. We have a flurry of them in the last kind of year or so. I can understand a lot of, a lot of 2015s, but then why are you... Oh, Commemoratives are plenty. So, but, but why have so many older years of coins? Mm, I think I think this. I think I really do think this is a cash in. Now that is the Guy Fawkes coin. Remember, remember the fifth of November around the outside. I haven't mentioned this for ages, but you do sometimes get a. Let me just zoom in. You do sometimes get a weak strike around um, around it. In fact, it's, it's, you're more likely to find a weak strike around here, this edge description than you are a full a full one. So there, look that that in 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 that says November and it looks like November, because the little the little kicker little kick of the R isn't there. But uh, yeah, it's harder to find one that's uh, that is that is fully stamped than not. So don't pay. Don't pay any money for that. It's just a face just a face value coin, but it's worth a lot to us because it's five point one four million mintage, and another one on the mat. Oh, there we go. We've got the hat trick of Olympics. There's the Rio. So when we were done with it in 2012, we passed the Olympics on to Rio and we brought another coin out to uh, to commemorate it. So there it is. I still can't I still can't work out the rotation on this. I know Ian Ritchie did tell me about how they were how it was offset slightly. But because uh, the Queen's like that look and the two pounds is there and then where do you exactly where do you spin it exactly to get it in the middle? I I, I reckon that's probably no, I don't know. Anyway cool rio so rio will be that's got what i call upon the youth of the world as, as well as the same as the its sister coin the beijing coin 
But there is the there is the hat trick. That is the Olympic triple. All under a million minted. All desirable. All at least a fiver, I reckon. Worth of value. That is superb. And what I like as well is so you can't see them on the mat because they are uh, they are hidden by my face. But I will show you. What I do like is they're all together as well on the on the top row there. So fantastic. Let us press on. There is Robert Burns. Another keeper for some, a silver find uh, for me. I don't keep them because I think uh, you can only keep you can only keep so many. And uh, should old acquaintance be forgot, three point two million minted, just hidden behind here. So we're doing well. There is another act of the abolition of the slave trade. I will be keeping an eye out for that little D and G in the corner, little Dolce and Gabbana little symbol in the in the bottom because that would indicate that it was uh, the the out of the. Uh, the, the 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 bunk pack, the brilliant and circulated pack, rather than the circulated version, and it's worth about twenty quid. So I'll be keeping an eye out for that one. That was just the standard version, and there's another Robert Burns. Are all are, are all these commemorative? Is every single one a commemorative? There's a DNA double helix. There's another Act of Union. There's another Act of the abolition of the slave trade, and our first and won't be our last army centenary. Loads of these minted. Uh, for king and country round the outside first one won't be the last 9.55 million <sighs> so we're waiting for the bottom row so if somebody will turn up that'll be Charles Dickens guaranteed to be there we've got the uh, so many irons in the fire that is the other Brunel coin the sister coin to the Brunel portrait guaranteed to be there don't always find that one actually the kitchen even though there's nearly 6 million minted don't find it a lot round these parts but I'm sure in a hunt like today, it will be here. I'm going for a full mat. A full, a full mat coin collecting extravaganza. Look at the shine on that, 2011. It's shiny, but it's been, it's been slimed. Don't know that's been in with Jeremy. Jeremy Frog Boy in the 50 pences and he's, he's gone a bit green. Slimed him there, slimed him a little bit. And the 2013, we've got one, we've got 13, haven't we? Yeah, got a nicer one than that. Oh, still so many to go through. Still so many to go through. I'd love to. I, I, I really, I, I've got to think long and hard about the title of this video because I don't want to spoil anything. You know, I, 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 do, do I put in there that, 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 that this is a cash-in? You know, does it, does that does that spoil anything? I suppose I said it right at the beginning of the video. Do I say I found the Commonwealth Games? It's so hard to know. There's a night yet. Yeah, be keeping that one. That's a... Shiny one, I've run out. I have run out of space now. I'm gonna to have to put the 98s up there. Anything in the 90s can go up there. There won't be many, I won't know, because they obviously get dirtier as they go on. So yes, it's it's so hard having a, a title that will is enough to entice people to watch it. Even you regular guys, because I, I reckon there's probably about 500 of you that uh, regularly watch every video. And then if the title's good enough or the thumbnail's good enough, that can maybe creep up to uh, to a thousand pretty uh, pretty quickly, you know. So it's it's hard to entice people in. Of course, always after new subscribers as well. Uh, so yes, I'll have to think long and hard. But I'm so tempted just to scream. This is a cash in. I've got a thousand pounds worth of coins. I've got a Commonwealth Games. I mean, to fill the mat. Imagine, imagine, imagine this mat gets uh, gets filled. Never done that before. Never. Come close, I think, but certainly not. Certainly haven't come close in a thousand pounds worth of coins. That's not bad for a night in 2007. Uh, stick that, to uh, put that down there. So, yes, certainly knowing a thousand quid, I've never come close. I like to find a rotation area as well from the 2015. I don't check them, I don't check every single one. I should check them all. Because we know that they're there. And we know that they've pretty much dried up as well. Or, or not pretty much dried up, but they're nowhere. They weren't particularly common to start off with. And they're uh, and they're just not they're just not showing the heads very often at all. So come on. I've mentioned it, is it there? No. So I should do that. Gotta be a tenner's worth of uh, coin, I think, that the ones where the queen's upside down. I reckon that the more the, the, the queen, you should turn the coin over and the queen should be facing the same way. And the more it's rotated, the more she turns around to the, to the right hand side, the, the more value it is. But I don't agree. I think it's, uh, 
I think that the, the 180 degrees upside down is more is uh, more exciting. So this will be it's 2012. So this will be the Charles Dickens, or it'll be the the, the Kitchener, uh, and either way to one that we haven't got yet. It's Charlie Dickens. There he is. 8.1 million. And he's on just on that bottom row there, so of course. He's on the, the bottom row is basically the row that will always be worth two quid. No matter what. Even if coins disappeared from existence, that bottom row would only be worth two pounds. Unless there's some kind of error with it or a little bit of a quirk to it. Ah, Sir Pilchington's uh, getting a bit excited. You can hear him barking in the background there. He's saying, the Commonwealth's coming, the Commonwealth's coming. I hope it is. I hope that Wales is on its way. I feel like this is the best chance because the, the, the Commonwealth Games Wales, the one that will go up here, only ever found one uh, when we first started doing two pound hunts, which is oh, a good few years ago now. Um, when we first started doing them, we Lady M had a book and I had a book. Um, and we were in uh, competition. Well, in fact, it was Ellie that had the book. And we were in competition for... Oh, there's a different one. Trevor's Terrific. The Richard Trevithick. That's the locomotive coin on there. Uh, and he goes on there. Just over five million. So we had a we had a book. Oh, there's another. Histories and another Trevithick. We had all this... Like buses. The locomotive. You wait all this time and two come along together. So, yes, and, and what we did was that the edge inscription around the outside of the coin... So, depending on how it's minted, it can either be that way around or, or that way around. It doesn't make it a rare or it's, it's not an error or anything like that. It's just the way that it goes into the into the rimming machine in the uh, when it's minted in the Royal Mint. But, so, for a bit of fun, we had we had a book each. So, one with one, the writing around one side, and one with the writing around the, uh, around the other side. And, uh, oh, that's it, that's it. That's... Oh, yes! There we go. There we go. There it is. The two pound book. Completed it, mate. There we go. Get in. Just talking about it. Honestly, we'll have to start talking about the Northern Ireland in a minute to get the uh, to get to get that one, the rarest one. See the little dragon there in the corner? There it is. So I was just saying so so we had a we had a book each and we were trying to find every two pound coin that you can find in circulation and um, my, what my book had the writing one way up, and Ellie had the her book with the, with the writing the other way up. We were able to complete my book. I did find a Wales, but I never ever found one for Ellie. Uh, I had to buy it in the end from UK Coin Mad, and uh, and then since I've started the solo book, that's the one coin that I've needed from the from the start, and and that's it. That is that that is the book complete. Get in five hundred eighty eight thousand five hundred minted. It's there. It's in there. How exciting. I saw the... Was it must have been that one because that's a beautiful condition, Florence Nightingale. That is absolutely stunning. I mean, I don't think that's been in circulation for 12 years. But I saw that. So shiny. Moved it out the way. And then the... Uh, that Commonwealth was there. Was there. There's another one. Another Florence Nightingale. Another Charles Dickens. Oh, yeah. Was a, honestly, will it happen? There's another Trevithick. Oh! There's another Olympic getting oh, another guy Fox. I mean, look at the condition of the guy Fox. That's in lovely condition. That's nice as well. It's not in bad condition either. Oh, is it? No. Oh, oh. panic there. I thought it was rotated upside down. But it's not. I just had the coin the wrong way around. Oh, sorry. Yeah, because it's two pounds is the thing. That's yeah, that way, isn't it? Oh, sorry. Just, just having a little bit of a. <laughs> Anyway, so look at that. There is another Beijing handover. Another under one million minted two pound coin. Another five is worth. Spot on. Yes, I'm having the time of my life. The time of my life. Surely, surely we're going to get these two. How can we not? <sighs> and what do I do now? The book's full. The book is full. Or, or certainly the two the two pound section is uh, is full. Bad Nick, two thousand. I'll put it up there with the nineteen, the nineteen nineties ones. What to? Ooh, <laughs> look at that! Never seen that before. Someone's been attacking that with a with a hole punch. It's very uh, very strange. Why would anybody do that? Are they marking it? Are they 
that their way of marking the coins to see whether it comes back again. I can't quite see. It does this look like it's been hit with a with like a metal punch? Don't know why anybody would do that. That's weird. Oh well, one to keep, one for the uh, bit of an oddity, isn't it? Something a bit different. I'll stick that in the uh, over here. I've got the uh, foreign coins and oddities section. I do miss this mat. I do really do like this two pound mat. Uh, 2013. What's that like for? Uh, a bit dirtier, I think. Get rid of it. So yeah, what do I do now? So so my, my book has got I'm trying to find every fifty p and every two pound in circulation. The two pound book part of it is now complete. Still got plenty to go in the fifty pence section. There's still need plenty of uh, plenty of Olympics, um, and of course that uh, that Kew Gardens. Shoot on that one. Whether, which one's the nicest? Oh, another ni nice nineteen ninety eight. Not as nice as the other one though. Uh, what was I saying? So yeah, so, so, I, so I'm definitely not going to start another book because I want I do want to complete the, I do want to complete my my solo book there with to have every single, fifty uh, p and two pound that you can find in circulation all found on camera, all found in the one book. So when I continue to do two pound hunt, yeah, probably I, I can't really say I can't really say no. I, I stopped doing it. Uh, oh, hang on, we got a two pound here, two thousand and twelve. This is the Kitchener. No, it's another Charlie boy. Oh, another Florence. So yeah, I did start doing it on the our, our main episodes. Obviously, Lady M and I upload two videos a week about our fifty p hunting, and we've got our own books and trying to fill our own uh, trying to fill our books up there by the end of the year. See so who can get there. Who can get there first? So, um, and part of the reason why I did that was it gets expensive, and with the bank charges, getting coins out of the bank. So that's why I stopped doing two pound coins, and then just started doing them every now and again for my so in my solo series, which I tend to upload on a Sunday. Uh, do it every now and again when I could get them from the post office, because so, what I do is I, I don't I don't uh, it helps me avoid the bank charges by getting them out of the uh, getting them out of the post office. Um, but then I can't. I, 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 I do like doing them. I can't. I don't know. I'll stop. I might might be just for fun. I might I might start do a few mixed up hunts where I do fifty p's and two pounds together. If that you know, if I've done a few episodes like that, and uh, yeah, I suppose the two pound hunt, the two pound coins are just for just for fun. That might be the way to go. So I'm definitely not starting another book. Um, I won't be starting another book until the uh, until a solo book is is completely full. With maybe the exception of the Kew Gardens. Because that is a that is almost an impossible task unless you live down south or in Wales. <sighs> come on, come on! I tell you what, I've got to, as much as I'm enjoying this, as much as this is just absolutely amazing, I'm going to be so disappointed if I don't get a uh, if I don't get a Kitchener or a uh, or a Brunel Arches because they're so common. Find them all the blooming time. If I don't, if I don't complete a row in a hunt like this, there's something wrong, or I'll be amazed. You know, find some of the. Hang on, so there's how many gold finds? Is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten coins that I'm considering gold, gold finds. So they're all under one million minted. So out of them, I found one, two, three, four, five of them. Uh, two lots of Beijing. So I found six coins under a million mintage, and not found one. That's uh, nearly seven and a half million. Got to be just a matter of time. That's a nice, that's a nice condition for nineteen ninety nine. That was one I was telling you about. That uh, wasn't uh, didn't go into the commemorative packs, the the annual set, so it wasn't released on its own. So people are like a date runner coins. Uh, are always on the lookout for a nice version of that because it can only come out of circulation. Still loads of bags to go. This has definitely got to be the best two pound hunt I've ever done. By a million miles. Especially on my own. Shame Lady M's not here to, to see it. But at the same time it means I'm getting to I get to do them all myself. Greedy. 
greedy, greedy bungle. How many bags have I got left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty bags left. Wow, thirty bags down, twenty to go. So we're actually only just over halfway. Oh, God, this mat's getting full. This mat is getting full. I can feel it. I can feel it in my water. Aha, 2015, £2 coin. So it's not, oh, hang on, no, when I, where does, where does the Britannia go? Because it does, no, no, this is, this is a commemorative. It's the Magna Carta, it's the Magna Carta. Do, 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 It's another one, it's another one for the silver. The silver finds and a different one. Oh, and there's a Britannia coming as well. A Britannia's on its way, and it's in nice condition. Sorry, I'll just shut. I'll just stop that straight away. Stop that ridiculous, that ridiculous noise. That is really shiny. What year is it? It's 2015. We've got ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hims, hims, theirs, thems, and theirs. We have another top of the pops, top shelfer gold find. Only 650,000 of them were minted. They are not as scarce as the uh, as the the Commonwealth Games of Scotland, but it is still a ridiculously low mintage coin, and we have got it. The mat is getting full. It will be. It will. I'm call. I'm going to call it now. I'm going. I'm going to call it now. Is it? Are we going to find every single one? Surely it's still it's doable. Let's think about what coin would what coin would do me over. If I was going to be left with one coin left now that we found the um just looking for the double writing on there, it doesn't have any. What coin would do me over? Say say I was gonna be left with one coin. Found everything other than one. What would it be? And do you know what? I don't think the obvious one would be um the Northern Ireland, so that's the, that is that is the rarest two pound coin by some by some margin, maybe. Um, but it would be something like uh, you can't see, but behind here is the is is the Bible, the uh, the King James Bible, because I hardly ever find that. I did find two in one hunt not so long back, but I've definitely I reckon I've probably hmm, no, I'm not talking out my ass here. I probably I was gonna say I probably found more Northern Ireland Commonwealth games than I have their uh, King James Bible, and that's probably not true, but it's uh, it's probably not far off. Considering the uh, is that something like fourteen, just in case. Um, considering the mintage is quite different. I mean, again, it's under a million the King James Bible. But yeah, watch it. Watch we find all the Commonwealth games and then get caught on the King James Bible. Or maybe it's a Navy centenary. Because the Navy's that uh, the flotillas did not find their way up north. They, uh, they all pretty much went south and stayed uh, stayed in the south. So don't find that very often. Not bad condition 2010 again. Nice. No double lettering though. Mm, shame that. Shame. So yeah, what you get stuck on uh, on a on a, a coin that is definitely findable. But we'll see. There's loads to go actually. I mean, no rugby world cup. Oh, some nice uh, little, little white hair there. Lovely. With the guy who catches in have a dog. <laughs> right there. Oh, was he old? So there is another St. Paul's. Another du D DNA double helix. Oh, another origin of the species. Oh, two more active unions. Oh, hang on, two pounds, two pounds on this side. Yes, there it is. There it is. 
there's the kitchener two pounds written on this side yes of course so that would be that's why that can't have been the, the kitchener because i was thinking two but I, I see the two the two pounds written down there is not not very common you see of the two and i'm thinking that could have been the kitchener but of course it couldn't have been the kitchener because that's 2012 and this is 2014 so there's another one. I can't believe the Brunel Arches has not materialised. Oh yeah, there's them too. There's another Darwin. I quite like that coin. So let's have a look at these two active unions. Let's see if any of these are rotated. No, they are not. Looks like that's been the most common find so far then. Why do I keep thinking I'm seeing Commonwealth Games everywhere I look? Just bloody technologies, and I'm thinking there's a, a Commonwealth Games in there. Or another one. Ah, yes! Da -da 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 Brunel Arches. There he is. Bottom row. Complete. Right, let's concentrate on the next row then. So... Flip a neck. You haven't got the two the two Shakespeare's. Always find them. Always find the Shakespeare's. The three, the school's tragedy as well as histories. So we need Rugby World Cup and the two Shakespeare's. Surely. Surely. That bottom row is getting there. That bottom row is getting done. With a bit of luck. The shininess on that. Surely. But there's another DNA double helix. Oops. He wanted to put that on the Marconi. There's enough problems playing the Mon board as Marconi without worrying about me putting DNA double helixes on. It's not a bad 1999, that one. Not too bad. Not amazing, but not too bad. I'll put it there in case it was better than the first one that we found. <sighs> there's a Shakespeare in there. Not the one we're looking for. Let's hope there's more than, more than one in here. Oops. It's in here, I promise I saw it. There it is. Another Shakespeare. Now I won't check. Do I just go absolutely mental and just have a really long, mega long video and check all the edge inscriptions as well of every coin to check that there's no errors? Would people sit that long? Probably end up being an hour, that video. Or this video, if I went through every edge inscription. Oh, hang on, have we got our first fake? Our first fake is on the way. There it is. And I suppose it just had to happen, didn't it? it? Just had to happen. So the Queen's portrait isn't too bad, but it's not correct. And the IRB at the bottom that Ian rang broadly, you can't see that very well. The rotation's correct. The hologram and the B and the R, that's good. Is it Bruce? Bruce what's he called Bruce? I can't remember. Rushkin, something like that. But the hologram isn't doesn't hologram y. Let's see what the edge inscription's like. On the shoulders it's standing on the shoulder giant. So yeah, he's got a little bit mashed here, look at the bottom. It should run true like that right in the middle. Gone, then it's just gone a little bit towards the edge which kind of shows it up a little bit but that's a really that's a that's actually a really good fake but nonetheless it is definitely definitely fake that the the edge in as well the, the edge is too the the lettering is too thick as well it's not crisp hmm. so hopefully that'll be the only one we get but i put that i've got a fake section here on the mat so that will go that will go into there. Come on, give us a rotation on your 2015s. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. 2009. It's quite shiny as well. Put that, uh, put that in there. Right, we've got left now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine bags to go. The odds are no longer in our favour, I fear. But surely we're going to complete the bronze section. Surely, 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 come on, baby. Everybody. 
ask the coin gods to be kind to us. Oh, 2000, it's quite a nice, not bad condition one. Put it up there with that one. Have we had our luck? Are we? Are we all in? Have we had it? another Brunel Arches oh in fact there's two in here so that panic of thinking I'm not going to complete the the bottom section don't worry they were here all along there's another Trevor's terrific there's the other arches I spoke about so we were never in danger of not completing that bottom row that were in these bags all along I've left that pla that, uh, that plastic bag till the very end by the way who is the Shakespeare in here I've seen, I've seen the word Shakespeare is it the Shakespeare we are looking for? Right, there's a couple of Florence Nightingales. That is a, uh, another one of them. Another one of them. Another one of them. Oh, Trinity House, that's in lovely condition. Look at that. I'll definitely have to look at my, my big boy two pound album and uh, swap it. Oh, it's a Skulls. It's a Skulls. Uh, sorry, it's a, it's a, it's not a Skulls or a, uh, Jester, it's another, another one of them. Oh, I can't believe when I get scuppered, when I get scuppered. Um, what was I saying? What was I saying? And another, and another one of them. Oh, I forgot now. I forgot. I forgot. Right, come on then. How many left? Oh yeah, I was saying I was going to leave that plastic board, the one that's not in a proper coin bag. I'll leave that till last. See if we need some, uh, some last bag luck. 2014. There's another. St. Paul's, some more act of the abolition of the slave trade coming. Ooh, ooh another Magna Carta, that's nice as well. Another Charlie Boy. Another Brunel, the man. So there's another silver find, just 1.5 million minted. Probably worth, what, three, four pounds? Something like, something along them lines. What else have we not got that we maybe find quite a bit? Great Fire of London. That's probably one of the more common ones that I find. Or Lady M and I find in our coin hunts. There's another D and here double helix. Come on, at least get, at least, come on. Come on. At least the shit is. We're always tripping over skulls, tragedies. Comedies always, always normally get you get all three, right? There's one of them. You've got a one of them, and another one of them. Let's see. Come on, rotate. Is it rotates. You're going to rotate? No, it's not. This one. She's going to be facing the wrong way. No, she's not. That 2005 is quite nice. See, so that was one of the the lower minted ones I was on about earlier. Again, about four million mintage, I think. So there's there's less of these circulated than there is um, anything up to and including probably the uh, Darwin. So right, but if it was a commemorative, it would probably sit there on the mat. Right, come on. Let's see. There's another St Paul's, another 2015. Another 2015, lots of Two more 15s. She doesn't face the other way. Right, seal bag's left. This is our last seal bag. Not well, that's seal bag, but sealed up in that, uh, in that way. I fear we are not going to fill. Uh, blah, blah, blah. We're not going to do that other line, are we? We are not going to do that other line. Let's see, though. Oh dear. Are we going out with a damn squib? Let's see. Let's see. Ah, so, if you've watched all of this video, what we are now, nearly 50 minutes, if you've seen all of this video, please do put something in the comments to indicate that you've done that. Because you definitely deserve uh, some, kind of, uh, some kind of badge for watching all of them. 
even if you only watched a bit of this video, let me know what you thought of it. How excited were you watching it? Oh, no. If you like what you see, please do subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Go and watch some of our other videos. Mainly, it's mainly me and Lady M hunting through coin together, not just me. So do go do and do that. So subscribe, turn on. If you want to support the channel even further, you can even become a channel member and you get to see uh, access to a, a live stream with me and Lady M that we do once a month. And we do a few prizes and games and things like that. So, yeah, please do that. Right, where do we start? Where do we start indeed. I was really, really thought I was going to fill the map there, like, but even just doing that bottom row is an achievement. Right, let's let me show. Let me just pull down a little bit, and just show you that top row that you maybe's been missing out on. I'll move there, and we get a shot of the of the date run. So we had a ninety-eight, some ninety-nines, and two thousands. So move them out of the way just so. I, you got an unrestricted view. So, yes, we didn't get a Commonwealth Games in Northern Ireland, which is down, down here somewhere, but Wales, Britannia, 2015, Scotland, second Commonwealth, the three, the three Olympics that you can get. That is a cracking top row. And nice to get some Magna Carta's and some other silver finds as well. And the condition of some of these is absolutely phenomenal, considering the, you know, they've been in circulation. Lovely, lovely, shiny and uh, lustery. Uh, yeah, that one's a bit of an oddity, is it? Never seen that before. Someone's hit it with some kind of punch, I think. <sighs> right, let's do the book. Let's do the book business. Let's do the book administration, and we know that the the two pound section is complete. So right, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to back up a little bit like that. Oh, come back, come back. <laughs> Back it up a little bit just so I can move that out of the way. So we can enjoy the book in all its uh, in all its glory. Um, a bit there, so that'll work, won't it? So 50p, still some work to do. To concentrate on the 50p's for a while. And there it is. That is the one that we're gonna fill. This is the this is the plum of the uh, the plum of the hunt. Probably the most valuable as well, maybe it's 15, 16 pounds worth of coin. Definitely have to take something in too, to Susie and the guys in the post office. There. Thank you. Look at that. Superb. But worth more, far, worth far more than the fifteen pounds to me is to say I have completed my solo book. Well, or the or the the two pound section in the solo book. Just drink it in. Just drink it in. There it is. There it is. Look alongside. What we got there, so that's England, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland's down there. Not sure whether, don't know why I put them in that order. Not really sure, but there you go. There it is. Complete, complete, complete. And then them two completed there. Um, yeah, they look, even, even found some old two pound coins that shouldn't even be in circulation anymore. The, 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 the single metal versions, look, got, got three of them. Got a few uh, few oddities, including that must be a rotation. That one, that's a, a territories. That's a fake, uh, one of them fake, act of union, uh, Turkish lira, and then the not intended for circulation. That one found that one that only came out in a in a set in a well, it's part of a set, but only came out in brilliant uncirculated. Wasn't circulated officially anyway, and that one that is a, a DNA double helix. That was in such nice condition that had clearly, it's even got the scratch marks on the back, like the knife marks. Someone has had that in a set. Can you see, can you see the mark on there? Not, I don't think you probably can. It's, uh, it's down there, that line there, look where someone, that's been in a, in a plastic pack and someone's opened it, we think, with a knife and paid it into circulation. And I've snaffled their work. It's got to be worth a good ten of that in that condition. It's lovely. Oh, all right, okay. We're done. We're done. I'm happy, really happy. Hope you've enjoyed it too. So yeah, subscribe all in wonderful things. Do join us for our our standard coin hunt. So our 50p coin hunt, Lady M and I. I'll be back next Sunday as normal with a, a solo hunt or something a bit different, but just me in it. And uh, oh yeah, over the moon. Right, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.